So today we're discussing the medical management of type 2 diabetes according to the NICE guidelines in the UK, which were last revised in October 2022. So every patient that you initially diagnose with type 2 diabetes, you want to give them metformin plus or minus an SGLT2 inhibitor. So who qualifies for an SGLT2 inhibitor? This would be anybody with an increased cardiovascular risk of more than 10% or somebody who has an established cardiovascular disease such as previous MI, chronic heart failure or anything like that. The way to do this if they do uh, qualify for an SGLT2 inhibitor is get them on the maximum tolerable dose of metformin for them then add in the SGLT2 inhibitor. So that's first line. So maybe in three months time, you recheck their HbA1c, um, recheck to see how they're doing. Um, and if, if, if their HbA1c is rising, it's not controlled by just first line medication, you want to get on to second line. At every review, every checkup, you reassess the cardiovascular risk again to see if they qualify for an SGLT2 inhibitor. If they do, you add it on to their regime. So second line would be you've got a few options. So if they've not been started on an SGLT2 inhibitor in the first line, um, so they'll either they'll just be on a metformin, so you can add in a DPP4 inhibitor such as aliglyptin, linagliptin, or you can add in pioglitazone, or you can add in a sulfonylurea. I've, uh, I've put this little reminder that it, sulfonylureas are notorious for um, causing hypoglycemia episodes. Uh, so you, just, you're, you should be careful in prescribing it in the elderly, or in anybody who's um, like a lorry driver as as a for their occupation um because that would be dangerous metformin so if any of the above medication is not tolerated or there's high risk of side effects then um you can at this point add in a, an SGLT2 inhibitor as well so if metformin just wasn't tolerated at the start due to um, maybe GI side effects, um, then these are, these are a couple of the options that you could start. These are the up- couple of combinations of options you can start. So third line, um, you want to... St- getting start getting the patient onto triple therapy so any of these combinations are recommended by the nice guidelines so out of the sglt2 inhibitors this uh, to gliflozin um, does not have any cardioprotective effects whereas these three do have um, proven cardiovascular benefits. Fourth line would be if if these combinations are not working either. Fourth line would be um, metformin plus a sulfonylurea plus a GLP one agonist like exen exenatide or liraglutide. You only prescribe this in patients who have a high BMI of more than 35 uh, or if the patient doesn't have a high BMI of more than 35 uh, in somebody who you're avoiding insulin again due to occupation or any other reason or will or the patient because of other comorbidities will benefit from weight loss so if none of this is working at all then finally you'd have to just start the patient on insulin